In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Apple ID. So first you're going to need to find and open your settings app. It should look like this. And here at the top, it should say sign into your iPhone, set up iCloud, the App Store and more. So we're going to go ahead and tap on that. Then on this screen, we're going to tap don't have an Apple ID or forgot it. And on this little pop up, we are going to tap create Apple ID. Here we're asked to enter our first name, last name, and our birthday. So the birthday is a little tricky. You can tap here. And I highly suggest just tapping on whatever day of the month your birthday is on. So for example, I'll just tap one. And then to choose your month and year, you'll tap on the month and year displayed here. And then you can change the month, for example, and you can change the year by scrolling these little wheels and such. So once you have the date of birth there, you can tap here for your first name and last name using the keyboard. So go ahead and enter those. And once your first and last name and birthday are entered, you can go ahead and tap continue. So here we're being asked to provide an email address that will be associated with our Apple ID and it will actually be the username for your new Apple ID. So if you already have an existing email address that you'd like to use for your Apple ID, you can just tap here on use existing email address and then it will ask you to tap here and use the keyboard to enter that address. Now, if you don't have an email address or you don't have one that you would like to use with your Apple ID, you can tap back here again on don't have an email address. And here it says that you can get a free iCloud email address to use with your Apple ID. So you can tap here on get an iCloud email address. And it took us back to where we were when we when I first showed the screen and it basically has entered a first name dot last name at iCloud.com. Now that assumes that that email address has not already been taken by someone else. So if you have a common name, it may not be available and you'll have to choose something else, or maybe there'll be numbers after it or whatnot. But if you like that email, you can keep it as is, or you can tap here to adjust it as needed. Once you've finalized the email address that you'll be using with your new Apple ID, you can decide to leave this enabled or disable it. And basically it's whether or not you want to receive emails from Apple about marketing recommendations, products, and things like that. So if you would like to opt into that, you can leave that green and enabled. If you would prefer to opt out of those emails, you can tap here and leave it disabled or gray. So for now, I guess I will just opt in. And once you've made your selections, you can tap continue. Now, if you're creating a new iCloud email, you'll get this pop-up that says create this new email address. It will become your new Apple ID and it can't be changed later. So if you're still okay and want to do that, you can tap create email address. So now we're being asked to provide an Apple ID password. And here it says the password must be at least eight characters, include a number, an uppercase letter, and a lowercase letter. So you can go ahead and tap on the row here and use the keyboard to enter a password. And then you'll need to tap and retype the password a second time. And once you've entered your password twice, you can go ahead and tap continue. So now we're being asked to enter a phone number that can be used to verify your identity with either a text message or a phone call. So it looks like here you can choose text message or phone call and note that messaging and data rates may apply. And you can choose your country code and then tap here to enter the phone number you would like to use to verify your identity. And once you've entered your phone number, you can go ahead and tap continue. So hopefully you received a verification code and you can enter that number here. Now, if you didn't get a verification code, you can tap here and you have some other options. You can try to be sent a code again. You can get a phone call if you had asked for a text or you can probably get a text if you'd asked for a phone call. You can also, if you're still having problems, you can verify at a later time by tapping verify later. For now, I'll go ahead and say cancel and I'll enter my verification code. All right, so my verification code was accepted and now we have some terms and conditions. So these are pretty lengthy to read all of. If you want to read everything, you have to tap on this A, B, and C. 
and then scroll. As you can see, it goes pretty far down. So I'll go ahead and tap back. If you want to save a copy of these, you can read them at another time. You can tap here to send it to yourself by email. Otherwise, you need to decide if you disagree or agree to these terms and conditions. So if you disagree, you most likely won't be able to set up an Apple ID. If you agree, go ahead and tap agree. All right, so I got a little pop-up that says your free form and news data on this iPhone will be uploaded and merged with iCloud. I assume that's because you may have used your phone a little bit before you signed in with an Apple ID. So if you wanna keep any of the data you've already had, you might as well go ahead and say merge. If you'd rather just start completely fresh, you can also tap don't merge. But for now, I'll go ahead and say merge. And there we go, it looks like my Apple ID is now all set up and now we have everything ready to go for using iCloud as well as the App Store. If you found this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up down below as it really helps this video and my channel and consider subscribing if you wanna learn more about how to use your iPhone. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.